All right, welcome back everybody. Today I want to address the topic of how to dress properly for cold water slash winter kayaking. Obviously, season is changing, it's getting colder outside and uh, we just got to adapt with our kayaking as well. So today I want to talk about exactly that. First off, we got to get the idea of what dressing properly means and how that works. What is the base idea of layering? Layering means that you have a base layer, a mid layer and an outer layer and those three layers have different functions such as moisture management, trapping body heat and protecting yourself from the elements. First off, we have our base layer. This layer is worn directly onto the skin. There are two questions you gotta ask yourself in order to choose the proper one. One, what is my output gonna be like? Heavy output means I can go for a lighter layer. Lower output means uh, a heavier layer might be suited better for my need. Second, obviously, how cold is it outside? And according to that, choose your right base layer. The base layer is not only there to like, give you that first little bit of insulation, but also, and more importantly, keep your body dry, keep moisture away from your skin. That makes the biggest difference. And that's what the base layer is important for. Next off, we got our mid layer. Usually it comes in the form of some kind of fleece. Um, this layer's main job is insulation and extra protection. Keeps you warm. Um, a few things to consider on this one is one, obviously, how heavy is my base layer? Am I wearing a thin one or a thicker one? According to that, I'm going to choose the right type of mid layer. Um, but again, here, usually fleece is very nice, keeps you, keeps you dry, it's not, it's not heavy or anything and uh, is a great option for mid layer. Now that we have our moisture management and our insulation covered, last we need our protection from the elements and this is where our auto shell comes handy. In this case, it's gonna be a dry top. The job of this dry top is to protect us from the elements. That means it's fully windproof, waterproof and breathable. And that is the last missing key for all three layers in order to keep us warm and dry and safe at any time. All right, this is the basic idea of layering. Obviously in kayaking there are specifics, which I wanna show you now. First off, that's a big one. There is a saying in kayaking which goes, always dress for the water, not for the air. Which means when choosing your layering, when choosing your gear, think about what river you're gonna be in. Is it gonna be a glacier river or is it gonna be water which is really warm, maybe coming from a lake or something? Because this is way more important than the outside temperature. Uh, it doesn't mean anything if it's sunny and warm outside, but you're gonna be on a glacier river kayaking. Uh, you, should, you should get ready for that cold water rather than the hot air, because when you're swimming, you will be in the cold water, not in the warm air. There are also a few things to put into consideration when it comes to choosing the right type of layering, such as when you're going kayaking, how remote will you be? Is there a road next by and if you get cold you can just stop or you're out there in the wilderness and you really need to make sure you're not gonna get cold? What happens if you have to exit your boat? Is it likely going to be a short swim because it's a lot of pull and drop or is there a chance you might spend a long time in the water because it's just raging big water down the river or something like that? Um, so those are just things you have to think about before you put on and choose your right gear because it's really important. For base layers, for me, it's really easy. This is my go-to base layer. It works great. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. I like it, it keeps it easy. When it gets more complicated already is the mid layering. We have different options there. One, we can just go with a fleece onesie, which is obviously amazing. You put it on really easily. Uh, there's no chance of your like upper part or lower part shifting. So there might be exposed skin to the kayak or something like that. The onesie solves all of these problems. You can't forget pieces of gear because it's just one thing. So that's really good. At the same time, going with the two piece solution definitely has its place. I quite like that as well. Mostly when I go on a trip overseas maybe or I have to like watch my packing space, I prefer to go with the two-piece solution rather than the onesie because that means if I go kayaking with a dry suit in a, in a dry top, I only bring these two and I can just wear this with my dry top and I add the shorts if I go into the dry pants. Also, um, having the possibility to like 
choose like a thicker top one and a thinner bottom one is really nice. Obviously the fleece wants you is, is one thickness, is, is one level of warmth and having those two pieces just gives me a little bit of ability to, to shift things around. But it really comes down to personal preference. I think they're both amazing. They both have their spot in my gear bag and uh, yeah, it just comes down to day by day base. Similar situation when it comes to my outer layer. Um, the question there is for me usually, am I going in a dry suit or am I going in a dry top with maybe some dry pants? In about 85% of the cases, I just jump in my dry suit because it's easier. Uh, I like it a lot. I feel, I feel at home there. At the same time, there is again a spot for going with the dry top, dry pants solution. Um, again, especially if you're traveling and you have to like watch, you, watch the stuff you bring in terms of weight and space, it's really nice to just have a dry top and a dry pants, which gives you the ability to paddle dry top and board shorts, dry top and dry pants, which kind of make up for the dry suit. So lots of things to consider. I like them both, but generally speaking, I tend to use my dry suit. Yeah, eight out of 10 times. And it's just so easy, it's safe, it works. So no reason to not jump into the dry suit. All right, a few more things when it comes to kayaking in cold water. Um, hands and head. Also two very important areas in the body which, which tend to get cold and start hurting quickly. So there is obviously the pogies or mitten solution for your hands on the paddle. Um, I've used it before. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan by it. I just, I just like to be on my paddle with my hands and nothing in between or on top. Um, but that definitely means that I do experience some pain in my hands sometimes when it's cold out there and I'm going kayaking. But again, that just comes down to personal preference. Uh, I personally found that mittens work better than gloves for me just because I still had that grip on the paddle yet was protected from the cold. Um, but headwear, really important. I love skull caps. I think skull caps are really, really important and do a great job in keeping you warm. So I would always opt for a skull cap whenever it gets windy or just cold outside. But then also earplugs are an amazing tool to keep you dry and warm and prevent you to get surface here as well. So whenever it gets cold, I, yeah, I just throw in a skull cap, put in some earplugs and, I, and yeah, I'm good. Last but not least, our feet. Uh, I personally myself often tend to forget about covering my feet up uh, even though they might be in a dry suit or in some dry pants and there's shoes over them when you're walking through the like wet mud or even snow like they get cold really really quickly so you want to make sure you throw on some like two or three mil neoprene socks that's already enough to make a big difference when it comes to like keeping your feet warm and as we all know warm feet are the key to success with everything. Yeah, this is my, my how-to on how to layer properly or how to dress properly for cold water kayaking. The season is here. We just got to adapt to that. Um, it's always important to be safe out there. So that's why I think it's such an important topic to talk about. I hope you guys could take away some tips at least. And if there are any questions, obviously comment below. I'm going to try to answer them all. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there. Have fun. And hopefully we get some rivers even though it's locked down, but hopefully get some rivers. You. Pro tip, what I always love to have at a takeout is a big bag of really like bulky, chunky clothes I can just throw over when I'm cold and exhausted, you know, like a huge hoodie or some sweatpants. That usually makes my day, like getting out of the cold gear, not having to deal with like fizzly, like tight clothing, anything like that. Nah, I just throw on like a big hoodie and I'm good again. So. Tip from my part, uh, yeah, add some big, big oversized clothes into your takeout car and be good straight after. All right, thanks guys.